So today's actually a pretty big day, just up in Cork in the city, um, about a half an hour up the road and um, looking at offices today. So I suppose one of the big things, big realizations I've had over the last few months is the business was still very much a combination of individual people completing individual tasks. Um, and over the last few months, myself and the team have done an amazing job. And me personally of, of allowing the business to grow up putting more structures in place, hiring more of the right people, um, streamlining further what we do, setting more expectations for ourselves and clients, um, and ultimately delivering more results. So one of the big things and one of the things that I, I would am looking to do is centralize the operations. So how can we get a core team in place that are in one location that are all pushing towards the goal on a daily basis and I think for me the amount you can get done when you're with someone in person um, is huge and also there's some elements of brings more credibility to the company and stuff but that's not really why we're doing it I really want to foster and grow a team of you know 15 20 30 people and um, that can serve our, our clients to the highest degree so gonna go view I think we're viewing four offices today um, some here in the city center some outside some just for the some that are just the right size now but also some that are um you know a little bit big that can allow us room to grow so i'm going to take some videos of it um going to drop a, a quick update on where the business has been at and and where i'm at with it um you know in, in a in a follow-up video on this will probably be in the same video um but yeah it's it's exciting times the next year is probably going to be the most aggressive period of growth that we target over the last four years we're going to go all out to really stamp our authority on the industry but also develop a product that we think is really really exciting um, in terms of building remote sales teams for gyms and that will give them more leverage essentially remove the gym owner completely from the sales process and once we get proof of concept with that i think the business is on a really really good trajectory to being in the, the seven and multi seven figures so I'm excited to, to show you and um, yeah, first up we've got an office on South Mall um, and then we've got another one a little bit into the city, but um, yeah, big deal. So, very um, good day so far, um, viewed four offices, uh, all of which were pretty decent to be fair. Um, some of which maybe a little bit bigger than what we currently need, some of which which are really, really perfect for what we need. So first of all, I want to secure a space. Second of all, I want to really look at getting the right team members in place. And um, yeah, really exciting time. So just back in the door from a big morning of, of you and offices and spoke about earlier in this video about what the business has gone through over the last few months and what our plans are for the next few months. and. We've been doing a lot of research into obviously bigger businesses to trying to take trying to take learnings and lessons from people who are in the millions, billions of revenue, as opposed to the people who are, you know, around the same level as I am and, and just trying to figure it out. So what we basically uncovered over the years and what over this year and what I've uncovered myself is kind of three things. So one is about the importance of, of structure and, and how your business is perceived. Second is the importance of, I suppose, from my perspective, understanding your best customers, how you can help them, who you get the best results for, but who ultimately is worth the most to the business and how can you cater for them the best. And then lastly is, is the power of, of delegation. So the business structure and delegation kind of lead into, you know, the same thing. But with the business structure, we've got an amazing team now in place. We've got eight, nine staff um, that are all, specialists in their own area but all complement each other um, and how we go about serving customers is now in a really efficient and mapped out process we now have a standalone product that we place within businesses we give them the infrastructure to grow and scale their business as opposed to previously just carrying out odd bits of services on their behalf we now have a ready-made software um, people based and, and uh, CRM and, and service based solution that gives them this holistic approach to growing their business, whether it's 
focus on ads, whether it's focus on landing pages, whether it's focus on company structure and putting a marketing team in place for them. We now have the flexibility within our product to do so much for them. Secondly, in, in terms of, of what we've uncovered with the customer side of things is that the higher end of, of our customers, gyms doing 40, 50, 60, 70 K per month have been the ones where our systems have been able to have the biggest impact and where we've had the most freedom to say, okay, you have this free net cash flow. We're going to help you distribute that and allocate that to a virtual assistant, an appointment center, into a new CRM, into increase in ad spend, into all of these different areas of the business. And we can help them allocate their capital on the marketing and sales side, take care of all of that and grow essentially their marketing and sales department. So as I've referenced in other videos, a lot of these gyms have an amazing coaching infrastructure. So head coach, coaches, they've got weekly check-ins, they've got amazing customer success. They go in real detail on the programming, but they never go into the other side of things and build out a marketing and sales department to grow the business. And then what happens is the marketing and sales is capped at the limitation of the business owner, rather than a team driving that, much like the coaching department where they're giving feedback on you know, lifts and progressions and how to program it better. That exact same process is what we're trying to do on the sales and marketing side. So we really narrow down and we want to serve that upper end of the market. And we want to serve them in the biggest way possible. There's a million and one agencies who want to get you from zero to 10K or zero to 15 or whatever that you know initial foundation stage is. We don't want to compete with any of those. I think there's some of them in the space that do an amazing job already that are able to cater in a group coaching setting to that level of business owner. We wanna come in and deal with business owners who have a high level of business acumen, who understand the importance of reallocating capital and also implementing a team within their business and ultimately remove themselves. They're not afraid to spend money to gain back time, but they're also clued in as to what the long-term game is. And the long-term game is to play the game forever. The long-term game is to be in business 20, 30, 40 years from now. And to do that, you need to have a team, you need to have a structure. The sales can't be dependent on you. The business, like a business, business's enterprise value is zero if it's reliant on the business owner to grow. If you ever wanted to sell it, you're gonna get nothing for it. So with that being said, we've now really tried to nail down in that upper end of the market where they have that disposable income and where we can get the most leverage in terms of what we can do, but also what we can make, quite simply. And lastly, is in terms of, of delegation has been huge for us. Um, offloading a lot of things that I thought I was the only person that could do. Things like just responding to emails for some reason. No one could, I, I felt no one could respond the way I could or no one could encapsulate what I would try and say. But that now is, is taken care of. Um, customer success and, and actually dealing with clients and trying to figure out and trying to, you know, uh, build rapport and build relationship with them. I thought no one could replace the way I talked to them or no one could, could do it the way I wanted them to. Again, proven completely wrong. And I'm releasing a training in the next few weeks. It's around how to grow a gym to, to 500,000 a year while working less. And the big kind of quote that I put near the start of that training is the main thing that stopped our business at growing past 30, 40,000 per month was I was doing the exact same things that the business, where the, when the business was at three, four, five thousand 5,000 a month that I was doing when it was at 30, 35, 40,000 a month. And that kind of, my level of progression didn't match the growth of the business. So every time the business grew, it then naturally declined until it met my level again. And then I was able to have some more impact because we had less clients and then it would slowly build its way back up. Whereas now I upgraded my daily activities, empowered a team that's, that's really, really efficient and pushing in the right direction, pushing their own ideas and developing that. Every Wednesday, the team meets on the service delivery side and goes through exactly what they want to do um, and how they want to do it and what improvements they want to make, I should say, to, to the product. Um, but ultimately, that's been a huge step of, of progression for the business and decentralization. We're working with a management consultant from an ex-petrochemical company who were in the billions of revenue is now guiding us on how we should structure our financial side of the business 
uh, getting our accounting and bookkeeping in order. So these kind of bringing these experts in to give us the advice of what not the people one step ahead of us, 10, 20, 100 steps in front of us are doing has been transformative for the way we look at things. And viewing the offices this morning is just a kind of further testament of where we want to go, what we want to do, um, and the longevity that I want to this business to have. So yeah, that's kind of update of, of where we're at. Next goal is, is to build a, a big team to serve a lot of people, to serve a lot of high level people um and to have this company you know have the brand of of the influent and and everything around it to be standalone to be a brand that that stands on its own two feet so i'm excited for it um big few few months ahead and mainly of building up until the new year and then yeah it's going to be a, a really really aggressive start to the to the new year a lot of marketing a lot of front end attention um content sales um, and building our own internal sales team is the next big goal so yeah that's it for me um these videos are more for myself to look back on in, in years to come but hopefully there's some nuggets in there for people who are who are in the same journey um but yeah hope you enjoy stick around and um hopefully in a few years time there's a big swanky glass uh window behind me with a on the top floor of some building but um See you in the next one.